I want to personally thank each and every one of you who submitted pictures to us as this storm rolled through because you really helped us tell the story. Take a look at some of these pictures submitted to our Facebook page of all of the snow that has buried many, especially around the Pikes Peak region. Cars, you couldn't even tell where they were on some area streets this morning. Taking a look outside, we are continuing to track quite a bit of snow and as temperatures drop, it's never too cold to do a little grilling here in Colorado, at least according to Amber. Take a look at Skycast as we head through the remainder of the evening. We are expecting any lingering waves of snow around northern El Paso County to come to an end. As we take you through the night, we are expecting clouds to clear out. That's going to allow temperatures to drop, but then clouds will redevelop as we head into 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, we are still going to be battling issues on the side streets where we still have a lot of snow and a lot of ice. Give yourself extra time to get into school, work, or wherever your Wednesday morning is taking you. The main roads, though, I-25, for example, just fine as we are taking you into tomorrow morning. We'll keep a little bit of lingering snow up across the high country and we expect it to stay for the most part in the mountains. You'll notice Skycast trying to suggest though that we may see a snowflake or two around Teller and western El Paso County. We'll have to keep an eye out for that but it's looking as of right now that will be the exception rather than the rule. It is going to get cold tonight. We're dropping into the single digits for most below zero tonight in Colorado Springs. One of those nights where you'll want to open the cabinet doors and let your faucets drip. 25 in Colorado Springs tonight. 30 in Pueblo with low 30s expected for the southeastern corner of the state. It is going to be a cold day, but at least we should see at least some sun help to melt the ice and snow that we have accumulated. Colorado Springs temperatures back in the 30s as we head into the end of the work week. A 20% chance for snow, though, late Thursday, early Friday as another wave heads through. But it doesn't look like this storm is going to bring much in the way of accumulation. So good news there. A much nicer weekend setting up for us. We're back at the 40s. In Pueblo, 30 tomorrow. We'll keep the 30s around through Friday. Just a 10% chance for a trace of snow at best. Mid to upper 40s Saturday, Sunday. Another chance for snow next Tuesday. In Canyon City, tomorrow we hit 29 degrees, 37 on Thursday. Thursday 35 Friday with temperatures back in the 40s this weekend and around Teller County 19 degrees is all we're going to get to tomorrow. Another below zero night tomorrow night 30s on Thursday. We'll spend the weekend in the 30s. And I tell you what 30s and 40s have never sounded so good. Hopefully yeah. the sun will help clean up the roads around southern Colorado yeah. a bit as it returns. I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting a little nervous about Rob out there in California because <laughs> he tried to tell us it's 40 degrees. That's why he's wearing that winter jacket. Oh, we, poor we've Rob. We've got going into the negatives and we just checked it's 54 out there. Well, the That's sun is setting, though. The sun is setting. <laughs> yeah. It's going to start cooling off, off a little bit.